Mark Tierlink, defensive line coach now at the uh, Indianapolis Colts. I'm here today to talk to you about the Gilman equipment, the drills we do with Gilman. I've been using the Gilman stuff for four decades. We started using the Gilman equipment at Eastern Illinois in the 70s, where we beat Delaware and won the Division II National Championship. Coached at Illinois, the team went to the Rose Bowl in 83. And then we went to the USFL, Chicago Blitz, Arizona Wranglers with George Allen. Led the league in sacks, went to the championship game, the Cleveland Browns, where we set a sack record. After that, we coached the Rams, went to the Vikings, had the number one defense in all of football. Gilman made that tape of us in the Last year got in the playoffs, improved our defense. We've had great success with, with these drills and with Gilman equipment. We've also taken these bags and used them on four continents. We've coached in North America, Japan, Europe, and in Australia with these bags. So we've got some great drills for you. Obviously the pop-up is the mainstay of uh, our drills. Uh, we've been using them since the 70s. It started with a small bag. They use Gilman bag with air or foam filled. Uh, we like the air. We developed this and made it taller, I think, in the uh, early 90s. And we like the wheel on the bottom because it simulates an offensive lineman leg whipping or tripping you. And it makes it more mobile. It bounces up faster. And it makes it easier to move it around. Here's our players that are going to be doing the tape for us uh, today. Chad Brasky, defensive end. Professional defensive end. Hey, Brock, defensive end. Robin Mattis, defensive end. Josh Williams, defensive tackle. Monte Rego, defensive tackle. Brandon Hicks, nose guard. Larry Tripp, nose guard. Our only 300 pounder. Life being defensive end. Rex Gioli, defensive end. These are our players, as you can see. Other than Larry, they're undersized, but we rely on speed and quickness. And all our drills are done, you'll see, relying on speed and quickness and using the Gilman gear to help us get that way. We're going to start with our stance and starts and get offs and start with our mat get offs, which are very instrumental in teaching body lean and leading with your head in your shoulders. The first drill we're going to start with is one of our most important drills, and that comes out of our stance, and it's with a get-off. Okay, Chad's going to demonstrate our three-point stance. We only have one stance. In our attacking defense, everybody is attacking. There's not a run stance. There's not a pass stance. There's one stance, and it's an attacking, aggressive three-point. And after we demonstrate the stance, we're going to do our mat get-offs. Uh, Dyron Reynolds here helps coach our defensive line. We'll pull the ball. The players are going to dive out on the mat, simulating coming off, hitting someone, hitting a seam, and like a little kid running downhill, all their weights forward and they're falling forward. From there, we immediately go to get offs and hope we get a big carryover. Okay, we'll start with our three point stance. You can see Chad's in a stance, at least a heel toe relationship, maybe more. All his weights forward. It's an attacking stance. We talk about falling off a cliff. We're not reading nothing. We read as we rush. All of our effort and our weight is going forward. That's we're going to hit the seams. We're going to get his hat in a crack and be attacking at all times. OK. All right, Dyron will get up here. We'll go right side, left side. The idea here is he gets off when Dyron pulls the ball, takes one big step. We have him far enough away that he's got to take a step bigger than usual, gain ground, and get the seams. OK, Dyron, you. It's out, not up, we want one step. Next map. One long step, gaining ground. That's perfect, perfect. Out, not up. Gain ground, that's it. Excellent. Get your hat in a crack. Gaining ground all the time. There we go. Gain ground, big step. Starts with the sprinter stance. Too many steps, no good. One step. There you go, Robert. The ball moves. That's it. Too high. Okay. Going back the other way. We got a sprinter stance and the ball moves. One big step and go. One long step. Make them work, Dyron. That's it. Longer we line them up, crowding the ball. We have all this ground to cover. There we go. Gain ground. Make them work here now. That's it. Big step. All that weight's forward. There we go. Gain ground. Falling off a cliff. Running downhill, East German training. There we go, Robert. Immediately from Matt get offs, where we're teaching body lean, leading with our head and shoulders, falling off a cliff. We'll go right here to regular get offs and hope we get a carryover. We got four guys going to the time, they'll go on Dyron's movement. Set. 
Flag 10. Flag 10. Now get out of there. There we go. Let's get a carryover. Set. Flag 20. Flag 20. Hut, hut. That's the way to get out. Set. Flag 20. Flag 20. Hut, hut. There we go. Get out of there. There we go. Set. Flag 10. Flag 10. Hut. Good job. That's the way to gain ground. Good work. We're moving on now. We're going to get into the blood and guts of the stuff we teach with this pass rush. Now, I hear you college and high school guys say, hey, in our league, we only get 15 passes a game, so pass rush is not important. That's bull. Pass rush is just like that smoke alarm in your house or that loaded 357 in your nightstand. When you need it to go off, it's got to be able to go off. You can't warm it up. You can't get it ready. Now, you'll notice all these next battery of drills are related to one thing, getting the quarterback, okay? And we rush the passer. We always finish with either a tackle or a strip. Okay, now you see the Gilman product, the Velcro ball we've had for about 15 years. Excellent to teach stripping. Here we got a right-handed quarterback with his arm back. You'll see us finish our drills. The guys will come in and strip the ball. Now, for the sake of these drills, instead of getting the ball every time, we're also we're just going to work on getting the arm because we have so much to cover. But in our normal practice sessions, that we at, our, at a lot slower pace, we will take and have a manager put the ball in all the time. But we're going to finish with a strip on these arms, simulating getting the ball out. Then later we'll go where we tackle. We're going to right now head to how we start our pass rush drills every day. We line up and we have all our positions do what we call a rip counter swim. We're going to pretend we have a rip already in on the man and he's leaning on us. And then we're going to counter by taking it out and go ahead and walk through it and swimming and throwing your hips, turning your numbers, getting out of the way, and then accelerating the quarterback. The offensive man is taught to put his paws on our numbers. We're going to make ourselves small and get away and escape, okay, and all in this drill. We do this drill every day. Okay, Dyron is going to lean into Chad here like a blocker, okay, on our own. Let's see, way to counter, get out. All right, next man. Good finish on the quarterback. Get it out. That's the way to turn your numbers. The rip is in. Now we go to swim. We you get it out. That's the way, Larry. Get it out. We practice it left side. That's it, Dwight. And right. Make sure we finish. It's always one. That's it. All right. Continue. Now we're doing the same drill. It's on this side. Again, we're going to start with our rip. Then we're going to counter and take it back out with a swim and make ourselves small and accelerate to the quarterback. We always finish with a strip or a tackle. Way to rip. There we go. Next man. That's way. Get it in and out. Counter with a swim. Nice. Good shoulder turn. Good swim. That's way. Way to throw yourself out. There you go, Raheem. Excellent. That's a good counter for all of our people. Nice move, Dwight. Get it in the rub. There we go. Rip, and we're countering to a swim. The next thing we do, we do this every Friday. It's called Moves of the Week. As you see, we have the Gilman pop-ups aligned like an offensive line. The guards are up. The tackles are deep. The quarterback's at seven yards. Now we're going to practice the moves that we used that week to beat the opponent, the ones that we've designed to disarm him. For now, we're going to cover all the moves and during the week let the guys pick them out. One thing you'll note in this drill is that the ends will start on either side and demonstrate a move, then we'll come back inside. One nice thing doing this drill, if there's just one man, if you just have one man coaching with this long stick on the, with the ball attached to the end, the coach can stand way back here, line up tackles, go ahead Monte and end Raheem, have a side of the line ready to go, and when you pull the ball, obviously the men are def defenders go ahead and I can see their feet and see their moves. If I was up here with just a football snapping the ball, I can't see past Monte. So by having the long stick, come on over here, die. And here, the coach from this position can pull the ball and watch the players move uh, without the dummies or their feet being in the way. All right, we'll start here. Raheem is going to demonstrate what? Chop hoop. We'll come off on the ball. Let's walk through it. Go ahead, on your own. He'll, come in, he'll chop the offensive tackles, arms, and then hoop and lean and get to the quarterback. All right, here we go. 
Dyron will start us uh, with right with going on cadence. Here we go. Blue 18. Blue 18. There's a chop. Hoop. Bringing it back up. All right, Brad's going to come up. We're going to do a chop spin. He's going to chop, get his hand in there, and then spin around. Finish on the quarterback. All right, here we go. Black 10. Black 10. Black 10. Chop, and then spin. Excellent. Let's go to the far side. We'll see the same drills. Same thing done on the other side. Dwight is up. Go ahead, Dwight. You can do what, you're good. what are you going to do? Okay, we're going to start with a chop move by Dwight. Go on on the movement of the ball. Black ten. Black ten. Get in there and chop. Excellent. All right. Here comes here comes a chop spin by Josh. Gonna chop the outside foot. Spin inside. Going on the ball. Black ten. Black ten. Chop and spin inside. Finish on a quarterback. All right. Dwight finishes off with a chop. Just chopping and hooping. Turning the corner on the offensive tackle. Chop and turn the corner. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Chad's going to use a chop spin. It's one of our counters off of a chop move. Like this. Black this. It's a chop and spin. Excellent. And accelerate to the quarterback. We've beaten this man outside. We've threatened the tackle outside. Raheem is now going to demonstrate his favorite move, which is a race up the field. Going to race up the field, stop on his third step, and club the, the offensive tackle out, finishing on a quarterback. Here we go, getting off on the ball. Black 10. Black 10. There we go, excellent. Excellent rush. Raheem now is going to rush. We've beaten the man with an outside chop. Now we're going to start him up the field. We're going to plant our outside foot and club the man outside, beating the offensive tackle to the inside. Okay, Raheem. Race and club. Black 10. Black 10. There you go, excellent. Way to accelerate. Now we're going to take it to our tackles. We're going to start with a jab ole, where we get the offensive blocker to think we're going outside with our jab. It's going to make him commit outside. We're going to turn our numbers and come in. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that on this side. Going on movement. Black team. Black team. That's the way to turn your numbers. Good job, Monte. All right, Josh, here we go. Same move. Jab ole. Black 10. Black 10. Huh. Jab and Ole. Good job. Good job turning your numbers and accelerating. Staying with our, our tackles and our moves of the week. Jazz going to demonstrate a bite and go. It's just the opposite of the jab Ole. We're going to line up outside. We're going to fake inside, make this guy bite, and then we're going to go back out the outside. Okay. Him and Brad will demonstrate a bite and go getting off on the ball. Black 10. Black 10. Huh. There you go. Excellent. Way to bite. Way to make the guy take the fake. Black 10. Black 10. That's an excellent. Way to accelerate. Good job. Now continue with our tackles inside rushes. We love the spin move. We spin coming off the bus. Last year we had 16 sacks or quarterback hits off of a spin. Okay, you're going to like this. We've got two guys working at the same time. You get twice the amount of work done. Dyron's going to pull the ball. We're going to have a direction, Chad. Which way are we going? Top's right. Okay, top's right. Both of our tackles will spin to the right. The next group will come up. Both tackles will spin to the left. Black 10. Hut. Beautiful. That's the way to go. All right, two more. We're going to go top's left. Both tackles spin to the left. One inside, one outside. Set. Black 10. Black 10. Hut. Beautiful. That's the way to get around. All right, meet at the quarterback. way to get around. Good job. Okay, two more. Tops left. Black team. Black team. Good work. Continuing with our moves of the week, we're now going to go where we slap rip the guard, and suddenly the center has appeared. We now have what we call tight bags. You have two men to beat. Okay? Double duty. We got four rushers. They have five protectors. One guy could get a double. So Chad's first going to beat his man with a slap rip or swim and come back and, you know, and beat the center with a move and continue to the quarterback. Black team. Black team. Huh. Slap and then another move. All right, next man up. Black team. Black team. Huh. One move and then another. 
All right, Brandon's going to beat the guard and then have to beat the center to, to continue to the quarterback. Set, like 10. Like 10. One move and then the other. Excellent. A rip. Set, like 10. Like 10. Good work. This is one of our mainstays. This goes back to the 70s. It's called our straight, long, straight line gauntlet. As you can see, we have four dummies, a quarterback at the end. We come up back the other way, we'll have the mat and the tackler. What we're going to do here is we're going to start with slap rip, then we're going to come back with jab ole, then we're going to come back with a spin. We'll have all five of our guys go through and come back and finish on the stripper. We're going to start with our slap rip, channel demonstrate, we're going to come up, we're going to slap the opponent on the shoulder and rip through. Continue on to the next bag, change to the other hand, on to the next one, on to the next one, and then the quarter, finish with a quarterback strip. We always finish with a strip or a tackle. As you know, in college football, pro football, you don't get to tackle a quarterback, so we practice it every day. We run the straight line every Wednesday. We do the straight line every Thursday. All right, slap, rip, one at a time. Excellent. way to work. Good job. Good job. Finish with a strip. That's the way to get that ball out. Good slap. Good high rip. Nice. That's the way to hit the bags. Good work. The next thing we do on our straight line is jab ole. Monty's going to demonstrate it. We're going to jab one way and go the other by turning our shoulders, making ourselves small. Now after we come off the move, we're going to continue. We have a quarterback that's escaping. We're going to dive out on the mat and trip him up. And we finish this drill by tackling or stripping every time. Chad's up. Jab Olay. That's it. Turn your numbers. Take it away. Finish on the quarterback. Good job. Way to lay out on the quarterback. Jab. That's it. Olay. 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 And finish. That's the way to hit it. Jab and Olay. That's the way. Way to hit it and finish. Good work. That's the way to Olay. Way to get out of there. That's the way Dwight. And finish on the quarterback. Good job. That's it. Jab Olay. And finish. All right. Good work. One of our top moves is a spin. We had 18 sacks or quarterback hits on a spin. We're going to now demonstrate on all four of the Gilman bags, a pop-up, spinning, and finishing. We're going to finish with a tackle on the quarterback, not one that's escaping, but just a tackle where we finish on his arms. And Dwight's one of our top rushers, 13 sacks last year as a rookie. I want Dwight to talk us through, walk us through over here, a spin move, where he's going to start one way. Go ahead, Dwight. I uh, start the top, up top, up top and get it in. I use this momentum to push me around. And accelerate the move. So we'll start at that end. We'll get four spins and finish with a tackle down here. All right, Chad. Nice. Way to spin. That's the way to spin. Way to spin and tackle. That's the way to get the quarterback's arms. Full legal hit. That's the way to get around. Look at that ice pick given to his back. Finish. Good job. That's the way to tackle. That's it, Monte. That's the way to spin. That's the way to open your hips and finish. Good job. All right, here we go. That's the way to spin. That's the way to get around, Josh. Finish. Good work. Dwight's going to demonstrate the chop spin. That's the way to get around, way to use your hands. Way to finish. Now, finish on a quarterback. Good work. Excellent work. Next thing we're going to go to is four square. We run the four square every Thursday during the week. Hey, one thing I didn't point out earlier, one thing we love about these bags and the drills that we can do against them, as you see, our guys are in, are in a helmet today. Sometimes they're not. We're not in full pads. We can do these drills. And we do them in the off season. The guys do them on their own. They're excellent conditioners. You have no chance of injury. The bag is off. You can hit it. It'll bounce back. Uh, you have to pick your feet up. But other than that, uh, you, there's no, virtually no way you can be injured doing these drills. And what we like is we don't do any running after practice because when we do these drills, we get our conditioning during practice. You'll see now we're going to go four square. There'll be four moves on four bags, 
and we'll finish with a strip on the quarterback. First time through, we're going to go slap swim. Larry will demonstrate a slap. Then he's going to swim over or an arm over and go on all four bags and finish right back here. One thing we like about the four square drill is after we move, work a move on the first one, we come to the second. Larry's now going to swim and come inside. He's got to make a 90 degree cut, a Pythagorean angle on these bags, working on the inside and continuing. This drill is harder than a straight line because of the 90 degree cuts. Slap, swim. Slap and swim, 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 and that finish. That's the way to swim, finish. That's the way to move, way to get around, way to finish. Good hips. Good swim, good swim, good swim. Accelerate now to the bag. Good job. We're going to run all four bags using any of the four moves, finishing with a strip on the quarterback. And what we emphasize here is running fast. He can swim, he can rip, he can jab away, he can bite and go. Ends can chop. But we want four moves and a full speed run. All right, here we go. That's away. Good job. Finish. Good work. That's a good job. That's a way to make yourself small. Good rushes. All right, Robert. Way to, way to finish. Good job. All four good rushes. One of the key things in our system is getting off of the ball versus run and pass. In a drill we do every day, lunchtime, after lunch, post practice, as we call it three on one. We have three offensive blockers. They're all using the Gilman Shields. These guys are as quick as any offensive line that we work against. We ask for a great effort from them to visualize the kind of blocks we have to defend. We'll start with Raheem playing a strong side end. We have a tackle, excuse me, a tight end, a tackle, and a backside guard. And by reading his man, he'll know what the blocks are and he'll, he'll break them down. I've had people tell us this has been the secret to our success in Minnesota and Detroit and in Denver is our three-on-one run re, uh, drills and run reads, which we do every day. Okay, here we go. Raheem's up in a five. We got a tight end, a tackle, and a backside guard. We're going to start right here. Good picture. Set. Hut. There's a double team. That's a way to split it by jumping through there. Good job splitting the double team. There you go. Good picture on offense now. Here we go. Set. Hut. Pass. There we go. Never surprised by a pass. Good job. So we Raheem. Okay, we're still in a five. We're here. We're here. And we're here. Set. Hut. Down his trap. There you go. Come down and spill it. All right, we're coming back. Now we're going to work our open side. Dwight's in a loose five. Uh, Brandon's a tackle. Robert's a backside guard. And Josh is the near back. These are the only three things this guy can see as an end. He's getting off on the ball. Set. Can never be hooked that way. Way to get up the field. Penetration kills everything. Set. Hut. Down his trap. That's way to come down and spill. Good job on a three on one. Getting off on the ball, reading the blocker. Set. Hut. That's way pass. Good job. Okay, we're going to move on to our three technique. He obviously has an offensive tackle, a guard, and a backside guard. What we're doing here is he's reading the blocks. As he's getting off on the ball and uses his quickness, he has to read this man. This man tells him his next. Uh, response. There's only three things that can happen to this guy. He can get a hi-hat, which is a pass set. Obviously, we go and rush the passer. He can get a down block, which we know down is trap. Someone's going to come and trap him. Okay? The third thing that can happen is Brandon pulls inside, the center blocks back, pull, collision. They're not going to forget about you. Someone's going to block you every play. Three on one, right here. Set, hut! There we go. Good job on a scoop. There we go. Let the guard through. Good work. Here we go. Good picture by the offense. Set. Hut. There's a high hat. Nice job. Good spin move. High hat is pass. All right, here we go. Good quickness. Set. Hut. Down his trap. Nice job closing the trap. Moving on here to our cock nose position. There's going to be a cock nose. Hot on Brandon, who's a center. We have a guard, a center, and another guard. And the same as before. You're either going to get a reach block, okay, or he's going to try to come and run the ball towards you. They're going to try to scoop away from you, or you'll get a pass. We're going to read those three. Hut! There you can't be reached. Good job. There you go. 
Can't run at the cock nose there. I'm going to give you a little extra one here. Here we go. Set. Hut. That's right there. Good job. There you go. Good work. All right. Number two block against the cock nose. Quickness. Good step. Set. Hut. Down the line. That's the way to get in the back door. Set. Hut. Hands, hands. Good job rushing the passer versus a high hat. We've been playing the cock nose since way back in Cleveland with Michael Dean Perry. Henry Thomas went to the Pro Bowl playing it. We really like the position. Okay, our cock nose lines up at a 45 degree angle on the center. What he's trying to do is take a, a little six inch jab and get in his hat in this crack. We don't want that center to be able to get off without the guard helping him. It's not a shade, it's a cock position. He's trying to get in that seam and run through all the time. When now when the center goes off, he escapes and flattens down the line. We Pythagorean, we think the scooping guard actually helps you make the play. It's all of our techniques, we play heads up, heads up on the tight end. Playing a six. Sometimes we do on the nose. We have to get our hands and defeat the block. This is one time we're not in an edge. This is one time we're taking the guy down the middle. We like to practice on the Gilman sled. It's low, gives us resistance, but it also has some give. Uh, because I have an artificial knee, I can't get down there and demonstrate as good as Dyron can. So we're going to turn this section over to Dyron. It's going to feature Larry Triplett, who's our, our big nose, and then we'll go from there on, on our Gilman drills on the sled. Okay, Dyron. So for our first drill, we got our ball and hand drill. All right, we're just going from a six-point position. Um, Larry's going to be sitting straight up. Sit up, sit up, Larry. Sitting straight up, hands right on the ground, a six-point position. All right, he's going to strike his hand up under the up under the pads of the um, Gilman dummy on the snap of the ball. All right, here we go. Sit, hit. Quick hands, quick explode. Sit, hit. Sit, hit. Set, hit. Set, hit. All right. Now we move over to the next phase. The next phase is hands and hips. All right. We're going to get a little more hip pop, more violent hands, and a little more extension. All right. Here we go. Set, hit. There you go. Set, hit. Set, hit. Set, hit. From here we go from to a three-point violent hand. We're going to take one quick step. We're going to put all three together, and we're going to go violent hands on the football. Set, hit. There you go. Set, hit. Set, hit. Set, hit. Set, hit. Set, hit. There you go. From here, we're going to hit and release. We're going to put all the moves together. We're going to step, violent hands. Hit, release down the line, chasing the football. Set, hit. There you go. Set, hit. 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 There you go. Set, hit. Set, hit. Set, hit. Set, hit. Next thing we're going to do, using the Gilman uh, shiver ball, is we're going to have an offensive tackle blocked down, and then the, the ball is going to come up, he's going to back, coming to block our defensive end. He's going to have to use his hands to protect himself from getting cut. That's you know, a legal block in the NFL. And anytime the little man comes to block the big guy, he's going to go low. So Dyron will represent the running back. Monte's our offensive tackle. Skis the end. We like the ball because we can simulate the cut block. As the ball is rolling to, to you, we can get full extension, full arms out, inside leg up, getting our body away from the cut block, being able to either skate out or run over the back. Set black 10. Black 10. Hut. There you go. Black 10. Black 10. Hut. There you go. Black 10. Black 10. Hut. All right now we got an offset back. All right, we got a toss coming this way. The fullback is trying to cut our end. Our end is going to take on the block and skate outside to stop the run. Set. Black 10. Black 10. Hut. Set. Black 10. Black 10. Hut. We're going to go back to, to 1988. We've been in these.
hoops in 1988, we were pouring concrete. We thought they'd change a 40 yard dash. This is the size of a top of a basketball key. So there's three of these in every gymnasium in the world. That's why we're the design. We think they're a great tool for teaching defensive linemen to dip and how to bore and how to turn and how to run on an angle. There's about eight drills we do and many different ways we work on running in a circle, running on an angle, dipping rather than running a straight line because defensive linemen are always ripping or swimming or turning. First drill we're going to do, we're going to start with Robert. Diron will be out of the circle. When he drops his arms, Robert's just going to run the circle, but he's going to finish with picking up the towel. We always finish with the towel because it teaches the player to dip and be low rather than to run him up high. We'll run one to the right, then one to the left. Go on, on no, Diron's movement. So we turn, now get a towel. Good job, all right. What we're trying to teach is leaning and boring and, and turning the corner on the hoop. We always go on movement, not sound. So we turn, turn, lean, get the towel. Good job, way to finish, good bore. Okay, Robert's gonna demonstrate the same thing, but as he comes all the way around the horn and comes all the way around, he has to finish with a strip on the quarterback using either hand. Diron will set him off, run a good hoop, a good circle, and then finish with a strip on the quarterback. Turn, lean, lean, strip. Good job. On movement, run on a hoop and finish with a strip. Turn, turn, lean, get a strip. That's the way to get the ball. An excellent job. Stay tight. That's the way to lean, get the ball. Great strip. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna run the hoop. Robert's gonna get a chop on this side and a chop on that side. We wear these Gilman arms for, the, uh, for our ends can come in and really exaggerate chopping every time they come around the corner. This is good protection for the coach. I used to do this with a, just a forearm pad and the players killed me. So we'll go on his movement, get a chop on one side and then meet him around the horn. Good work, excellent, good work. Nice work. Moving along with our battery of hoop drills. Brandon's now gonna run the figure eight, but you'll see he's gonna pick up a towel at each spot. Again, we're practicing turning, running the horn, boring. We're gonna get a towel, drop it, come on the second one, get a towel and drop it. We're gonna finish right where we started. Running two hoops in a figure eight and getting the towel. Get the towel. That's the way to work, get the towel and finish. Excellent work. Okay, continuing with this figure eight, Josh is gonna go it this way. Remember, we're boring, and as we're turning the corner, we're getting that towel to exaggerate body lean, running low to the ground, missing, have that offensive tackle miss his punch. All right, Josh, on your own. Finish, finish, finish. Nice job, all right. Good work. the hoop set up like a four-leaf clover what we'll do is we'll start out Brandon will be the mouse you run on any hoop you want change direction dip duck go on any hoop you want Robert you have to catch him okay we'll start you a half a hoop apart uh, on Brandon's movement he takes off you try to catch him both guys stay outside the hoop okay Brandon line up over here when Brandon goes Robert go to catch him that's it Stay with it, cat and mouse, stay with it. That's the way to run, that's the way to close the gap. That's the way to run. Catch him now, finish, 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 finish. All right, good work, good job, man, good work. All right, good job. Give yourself a hand, good work. All right, what we like about that is the cat has no idea where the mouse is going. There's no predetermination to move. It's all reaction. That's the way to work. Good job, all right, give yourself a hand. Good work, all right. Another thing we like to use, the Gilman ladder. We used to do the high stepper, but guys trip and fall and get hurt. This is collapsible, it can go anywhere. We use conditioning and, and quick feet, as you know in our system, it's all speed and quickness. Ski's gonna start us out with what? One in the hole. One in the hole. That's the way to move, all right, good job.
Good job. Okay, Robert's going to go every other one. That's the way to move. Okay, Robert's going to come back doing every one. Good fast feet. Nice job. This Gilman sled's been around 100 years. I hit one of these 20 years ago. It's a heck of a sled. It's great for tackling. Now, we don't do a lot of one-on-one -on -one open field tackling, so our proportion of work on tackling isn't as much as it is on hitting gaps and, and rushing the passer. But we stu still do have to tackle. So a few principles that we work on, that we can work on on this sled. One, obviously, we're going to be in a football position. We're going to get our head across the bow, okay? But then we're going to club with our arms. We're going to come back and club with our arms, digging the nails in, getting jersey, getting football, getting cloth, whatever we can. Now we're going to roll our hips and drive with our legs just for three steps and set them down. Obviously, the drills where you turn the sled over, uh, we've done a million times. We're not going to do that here on the turf. We'll start off Monty tackling with the one side, Larry coming back in the other. Good form tackles. Head across the bow, club with the arms. There you go. Okay, one of the other things we do with our cock noses is work on the pole, the padded goal post. The thing we like about it so much is something a guy can do on his own. He can do it in the off season, he can do it in his free time, and he can really improve. Okay, Larry will start us off and Brandon will follow. Uh, we'll have our backs to the camera. And we're going to start with our jab, our six inch jab and punch, where you can't be reached. Okay, good. Good jab. Okay. On the other side, same thing again. Can't be reached, right? I'm the center. Okay, you're here. The center's trying to reach you, right? So take a six inch jab and then afterwards finish flatten down the line. That's it. That's it. Six inch jab. Good hand. Then finish. All right. All right. Good work. Let's start with we're back dooring. We'll stay on the right. I'm the center. And what we're saying is the center now is going to come up and try to block the linebacker. So he's going to step here and you're going to be able to swim right off my back. Each take one on either side. Get your punch, then swim off. Back door, there you go. Good. There we go. Excellent. Okay. The last thing we're going to do is cross face. This is where the center, come on up, Larry. The center is going to block back on you. We'll start on this side. The center is going to block back. We want you to be able to go across his face and make the play. I'll let you take one going this way, and Brian will take one going that way. On your own. There you go, good work. Nice job. Okay, and that, that concludes the stuff that our noses do. And again, what we like about it is they can get on the pole in the off season. They can do it without pads, without a helmet, and they can improve every day. And a lot of these drills came from Joe Klecko, who was one of the original cock noses. Then we had Michael Dean Perry and Henry Thomas play it, and uh, we're going to improve from there. Thank you.